Brighton, no tune-ups, no warm-ups, straight into the deep end of the pool. And speaking of the deep end of the pool, we are on our way. We begin with Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, brought to you tonight by Spike Sports, Bellator MMA, presented by Miller Lite, begins now here at Mohegan Sun Arena. And we do it with three five-minute rounds at 158 pounds. Introducing the blue corner first at six foot two, weighing in 155.8 pounds. His professional record: 11 wins, just two losses. Fighting out of Rotterdam, Netherlands. Introducing Jamil Chen. And across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, his adversary comes in at five foot nine, weighing 157.8 pounds as a professional. He brings six victories, three defeats from Greenbrook, New Jersey, presenting Richard Potishna. In charge of the action, your referee, Todd Anderson. The Tale of Tape brought to you by Dave and Buster's, the only place to eat, drink, play, and watch sports. Look at the height advantage, six foot two for Jamil Chan. If you haven't seen Jamil Chan yet, you ready? he is a treat. All kinds of imaginative offense. Fans love to watch him fight. 11 wins and 13 tries, nine of them finishes, eight of them knockouts. Dijnok has fought four times in the World Series of Fighting, including fighting for the inaugural 155 title down there with Justin Gagey. Did not very last very long. What do you do, Jimmy, when you're facing a guy whose offense is very imaginative? You do this. You take him off his feet, make it basic, make it about physical pressure, not explosiveness and creativity on the feet. He's not started six and one, has lost his last two. Neil Chan, a great story. He is autistic. And the way he learned how to fight is different from the way other people learn how to fight. He meticulously writes down everything he has been coached so that he can go back to it later. And he has these unbelievable records of practices in each lesson that he learned. Holding on on bottom. And a half Watch butterfly right now, but tying up the arms, trying to get a stand up. He will always, always try to get the fight back to his feet. Yeah, you have to know how to play on the ground. You have to know how to create scrambles in space. That's how you do it. Kick off on your feet. Break those dangerous scrambles, and now he's back on the ground. We were just talking about one off the air. The only time Ben Henderson has ever been knocked out by Rafael Dos Anjos because he got into that scramble and he just got caught. Yeah, exactly. You see Patishnok wanting nothing to do with the stand-up, even back on the feet. Didn't try to set it up with kickboxing, went right in for a takedown. Nice right hand. Final two minutes of round one. What you do, you ask, what do you do against a creative fighter? You make it, you make it boring. You make it, you know, a, a bread and butter kind of fight. Take down, ground and pound. It's a real chance, the prospect has started to catch some eyes. This is what he can do on his feet. He's 25 years old. He would like to get this fight back there. What does it tell you the way he's trying to get it back to his feet? Trying to get that stand up. Yeah, he's trying to stall, but he, you, you see his guards open, but the feet are on the hips. He needs to go there to get space and stand up. And, oh, right into a triangle. Right into a triangle. This time's got to pull the head down. Can't get it. That's not his specialty. Again, I guess a more experienced fighter in that situation. That might have been trouble. Yeah, could have been it. Oh, right hand, and this one is over. That is why he didn't want it on his feet because once it was on his feet he was going to end up back on the ground beautiful right hand what did we talk about scrambles and being unprepared for your opponent's offense caught him in his scramble right on the chin beautiful shot beautiful shot with the right hand open the door 
They want the stretcher. Knockout number nine. Right on the temple. Already He's out. He's out already out. Before he hits the ground. And that is the third straight knockout loss. To Richard Petitno. We got it. Jamil Chan, we talked about his ability, his explosiveness right off the scramble. And you got to reset and be ready for a kickboxing match. Doesn't matter how badly you want the take on. You have to be ready for those few seconds on the feet. And before he could get that left hand up, Chan was all over him. Todd Anderson did his best to get there as quickly as he could, but the hands of Chan so fast to get that extra shot in. And he followed up quickly. Jamil Chan in his Bellator debut delivers, but you see the look on the knockout artist's face and it quickly turns to concern. Because you are the first to know when you have done serious damage. Yeah. You can tell when it connects. We asked Pitbull about Ryan Couture, so I wasn't quite sure because he hit me with a shot at the same time. But there's that wake up moment of, oh man, this dude's in big trouble. And Chan has that look on his face right now. Seventh straight win for the 25 year old from the Netherlands. Somewhat reminiscent of an older fighter from the Netherlands. We're going to see at the end of the night on Spike in Bellator kickboxing, Melvin Manon. We'll fight in the main event of the inaugural Bellator kickboxing event coming up. Immediately following Henderson and Korshkov. Let's get the official word. Tell him to listen to them. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the end comes suddenly. Official time, three minutes, nine seconds into round number one. The winner by knockout, Jamil Chen. Jamil Chan, as advertised, spectacular on his feet, records his ninth knockout in 14 professional fights, his seventh consecutive win, a fighter to watch at 155.